I'm John Marler in the Eyewitness Newsroom. Spokane County has decided that there will not be yet another trial for convicted rapist Kevin Coe on a fourth rape charge. Tonight on Eyewitness News Update 11, we will hear from the victim of that rape. Also tonight with the Navy Secretary in town, will and if so when, the question is about Everett becoming home to a Naval Task Force and the Northwest clothing industry. Where's it going? Join us at 11. News, sports, weather. The Cairo Evening News with Gary Justice, weeknights at 6.30. The Cairo Evening News, weeknights at 6.30. Good evening, I'm Susan Hutchison in the Cairo Eyewitness Newsroom. If you missed the Seahawks game on Monday Night Football tonight, we'll have the highlights for you, including the play that will go down in the, with the Seahawks' all-time great plays. In the Seattle teacher strike, Governor Gardner intervenes and calls both sides to Olympia for a meeting tomorrow. Please join us tonight for Eyewitness News Update at 11 for news, sports, and weather. Discover America, weekdays at 3 on Cairo TV. The Price is Right, weeknights at 7.30. I'm John Marler in the Eyewitness Newsroom. The city of Seattle is considering a law that would have police keeping a closer watch on some people who drive in certain parts of the city. It's a law aimed at those cruising, looking for prostitutes. That's one of the stories we'll have on Eyewitness News Update at 11. Also tonight, the Seattle teacher strike heads to the governor's office. Tacoma Boat files for federal protection, and the Seahawks at their home opener. Join us for news, sports, and weather at 11.